Hey guys, Movie Nerd here to bring you another movie review for Kong Skull Island. Now, I apologize for the late post. I've been very busy with work and school, so that won't ever happen again. Let's just move all of that away and let's talk about Kong Skull Island. Kong Skull Island is directed by Jordan Vaught Roberts and written by Dan Gilroy. And it stars John Goodman, Brie Larson, Tom Hiddleston, Samuel L. Jackson, John C. Riley, Toby Kevill, and a bunch of others. This is a great ensemble cast and it shows. But unfortunately, the movie kind of stirs away from these great listed names in terms of their performances. What I mean is that Kong Skull Island is exactly what you would expect from a popcorn film. It is a film that really, how can I put this? It's it's a film that you would have all these set expectations to have when you go to see the film. And those expectations are met, and then they kind of decline as the movie goes on. As you can already tell, Kong Skull Island for me was a bit of a disappointment, really. Kong Skull Island brings forth a lot of spectacle, but not substance. What I mean is that it's filled with all these moments, it's filled with all these great visual effects, great music, great uh, action sequences, but it doesn't deliver on an emotional depth. If what I'm trying to say is basically the film stirs away from a uh, drawn centered story, really, because in the beginning of the film, you get the sense of where to heading into this island, this abandoned island. But then later in the film, it starts to linger on other things that you're trying to piece together, like you're given pieces of a puzzle, really, and then you're trying to pick it together in a way, and the story kind of feels that way. And the film altogether feels very cartoonish. There's a lot of cheesy one-liners. And I just don't really have that much attention to it. I mean, throughout the film, I was pretty much laughing at the sequences. And I, I shouldn't be doing that. But I guess what director Jordan Roberts wanted to do was basically have his idea of a timeless classic film. And... I certainly felt some of that in the film, but I wasn't really compelled or really drawn into the story. I was just drawn into the visual aspect. Larry Fong, the director of photography, did a fabulous job. It is filled with all these lush colors, vibrancy, and all these different locations that they filmed. The majority of the film takes place in Vietnam, and this is a period piece, so it takes place during the 70s. Wait, what I'm trying to say is this film captures a lot of what you would expect from a big epic film. So basically the film altogether is sort of a popcorn film. You just go in there, stuff your face with popcorn and enjoy what you see basically. You just have a fun time with your friends or your family or whatever. And granted it is not the best film that I've seen so far but it is certainly one of the most entertaining films I've seen this year. Guys in the end Kong Skull Island really didn't really match up to my expectations. I was quite disappointed, really. And I w wanted to see more, actually. And the only uh, appearances that King Kong has in a film were great. The human characters, I didn't really care about. The human characters kind of felt bland. They didn't really have a purpose. And when they try to force all these emotional depths into these characters, when they try to push, like, character substance and trying to figure out where the characters are going from there, it didn't really mesh with me. I didn't really have that emotional connectivity with these characters. So what I'm trying to say is these characters felt bland, they felt boring, they felt uninteresting, and I didn't really like that. I didn't really like the characters in the film. But the big one, of course, is King Kong. So the only sequences I really came to see for the film was, of course, King Kong. And it was great. I liked what they'd done with the, the character. I liked what they'd done with the scale of King Kong. He's much bigger now. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really find this movie to be very, very um, good for me and my taste. Um, I just felt like there was a lot more that needed to be done. And I felt like they were going through a different route. There was a lot of missed opportunities and here and there. So Kong Skull Island didn't really do it for me. I'm going to give Kong Skull Island a C+. So guys, let me know uh, what you think of the film, if you liked it, if you 
didn't like it, if you hated it, <laughs> um, please sound out uh, down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Please share all of your um, insights and thoughts about what you thought of the film. And yeah, I really hope that um, I get to post more videos here because I'm sorry again for the late post again. I've been very busy with work and school. So yeah, I'm going to try pushing my videos from now on to see what I can do from here on. Alright guys, until then, see you later. Peace out.